Hey. Hi. How y'all doing? What's up, family? Welcome to another episode of Parental Advisory. I'm Brother Ock. I'm Eunissa. Yes. Am I supposed to be Sister Eunissa? You're Sister Eunissa. I'm Eunissa. Mm -hmm. Mother Eunissa later on. <laughs> Don't see your face. Oh, that's funny. You're older than I am. I am older than you. I am. But yes, yeah, <laughs> this is Parental Advisory of uh, Epic Student Ministries, Right Direction Church International, located at 3506 Broad River Road. More information, we're going to rightdirection.info. Broad River Road. I'm sorry. Broad River. River. Let me stop. So yeah, so this is Parental Advisory. Hopefully this is a blessing to you. And uh, last uh, episode, we talked about um, uh, the power of being on one accord. Right. And uh, this episode, we mentioned it, but we definitely want to expand on it this time. It is how the children and the enemy can exploit the gap. Right. What is the gap? The gap, right? The gap between what mom says and what dad says. The gap between what grandma says and what dad says. The gap in between what the teacher says and what mom and dad says. It's, and, 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 ch and children will, by their own nature as children, which is oftentimes to get what they want. Even more so teens. Whew, and they will exploit that gap. Right. And, 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 he, and here's, I, I'm going to give you an example. Never underestimate the strategic and deliberate deliberateness is that a word deliberateness it'll be one today baby. it's one today mm -hmm. the deliberateness of your children of your team so let's say let's say your son wants to go to the party on friday right but he's he can't go to the party for whatever reason maybe he's on restriction maybe that's something that you just don't allow Maybe, maybe the party is in a part of town that you don't want him to go to. Mm -hmm. Whatever that reason is, right? A very strategic and crafty kid will sit back and figure out what's the gap. Okay? What's the gap? So the gap is, dad got a problem with me going to the party. Mom don't. So how can I work that? I don't even ask them. Because I already know what dad going to say. <laughs> dad is going to say... No. So I'm going to ask mom. I'm going to ask mom, can I go to the party? And mom would... So we, we've had it happen. Yes, we've had that happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I mean, give, come on, help me out. Give some, give some context here. Well, that throws back to... <laughs> a lot of those times were times that threw back to the previous uh, videos you have to go back and watch. Right. Weapons of mass distraction. Right. So mom was a little distracted, mm -hmm. and mom didn't really double check mm -hmm. with dad. Right. Or you know, such as our family, dad's working, he's out of town, right. he's you know not necessarily you know con you know I can't contact cognizant him. of what's or some of the things that's going on. Right. But no, I'm saying like I can't get in contact with you. Between now and the time that this child actually wants to go to this particular event. Right. And so they asked me at the last minute. Oh, yeah. You know. It was big for them. And, you know, I've just, you know, my natural nature as a mother has always been, you know, I just want you to be able to have fun and enjoy your teen years and just... And just explore and just have all this great, these great experiences. That's my natural motherly instinct. She's a yes. So, she's a yes mom. Because I want to be able to say yes. You want to be able. To, you don't want to tell your child no all the time. So, yeah. you know, of course, they beat it out of me over the years. But, what? but the the point is, is that you know there were times when I did not, you know, cross my T's and dot my eyes regarding, you know, you know this child's request and and not really thinking about the fact that this particular child is probably trying to you know pull okie doke on me mm -hmm. so run straight game right it's i mean a child is it's like if, if, if you say i want to buy a house or i want to start a business you're going to do some research 
You go, you go come. Just, you got to get your credit straight. You got to save up a down payment. You got to find a house. You got to, mm -hmm. you got to figure out where, where you want to live. You got to check out the school system. You got to go through a, a series of steps. You got to get a real estate agent. You got to find a banker or find a mortgage company. You got to take some steps, and you'll be very de deliberate and strategic about that. Children are no different. It's like, okay, I want to go to this party on Friday. Okay, I know Dad is working on Friday. Okay, I know he's gonna say no anyway. Cool. I know mom will let me, probably let me go. Guess what? If I wait <laughs> until 7.30 to ask about it, she probably won't be able to get in touch with dad because I think his show starts at 8 o'clock, which means that he'll be either backstage or he'll be about to go on so he can't, I can't get to him. So, so she won't be able to get to him and mom probably will say yes. Right. And, and don't get me wrong. It's not a situation where it's like I'm not necessarily understanding or knowing that you have to investigate. But again, that's that's one of the things about parenting. You just cannot let allow things that are life or being tired or whatever. You can't ever clock out on, on your teens, but, particularly. But, but you, you have to actually be fully engaged. So all the stuff you just named sounds like a lot. Right. Like for every and, and keep in mind, I'm a mother of five. Right. So I, that's so, another game. So it ain't just it ain't just you got one child coming right. and asking you for right. this, that, and the other. It's five kids asking you for something. Right. And this and, and then he's saying you gotta go through steps one through ten of checking, you know, background checking mm -hmm. everything. So that's that's one through ten times five for me. Right. So, you know, that's a whole It's nother, not fair. <laughs> It's, it's fair that we had them, but um, but, it's, but it's a whole nother level, and and so you know, and not to say that parenting one child is is easy, exactly. Because, because I remember us having just one for a very brief amount of time and feeling overwhelmed with the one. Yeah. Um. And and then when I got two, I actually felt like it was easier because they played with each other. But that, but that's when they were younger. <laughs> but that's when they were younger. Then, right. then three, four, and five came right behind it. But right. nevertheless, you know, it's. It takes work. And, you know, again, when you have, you know, and my people, they like, they have a daddy spirit. I'm a homebody. Ah, he loves to go. He's just You're not energetic. a homebody. You're a homebody now. No, no, no. You weren't a homebody in your 20s. I had to be a homebody in my 20s because I was pregnant for 10 years straight. So I had to be home with kids. Anyway, like I said, I'm more of a homebody. If you give me <laughs> some Hulu and some Netflix and some Good Eats. Or back then a VHS. Okay. A DVD. <laughs> Some good eats. <laughs> then I'm good. I can sit at my house. I can, I can be in this house for a week and never leave my house. I'm really good. Him, every day, he's like, you know, he's up. He's dressed. I'm like, where you going? You know, I'm, I'm going somewhere. Going to work. Eventually, I'm going somewhere. Even if he wasn't going, leaving the house, he was like, I'm going somewhere. So my kids are like that, most of them. Um, I probably have one that's, that, that's like more relaxed. But the rest of them. They're like every day getting up, especially in the summertime when he would be on the road and gone or whatever. They're like, they get up like, what are we doing today? And I'm like, <laughs> you know, so again, the gap, the gap, the gap. Right. There's a lot of, there's a lot of opportunities there for gaps. What, so. what, and, 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 and let me, let me, let's give some clarity on what the gap is. The gap is in the difference in, of opinions. Difference of opinions. There's also a gap supervision. Right. The so, gap, the gap is in. Uh, mom works, you know. In, in, you know, mom works on this side of town. Dad works on that side. Well, of we, town. what we used to call back in the day, you know, of course, this is an old term, telling my age, latchkey kids. Yeah. Who who came home like I did? Came home before my my school teacher mom got home. You know, she got home probably an hour and a half after me, or maybe two hours after me. Right. And so that's two hours. That's gap. two hours. A two gap hour gap to do. Whatever, Stuff, yeah, you know, it's what it's the gap is the gap is is the the, the distance in between uh, home and work, the time in between practice. It doesn't take and, long. The school, the <laughs> gap is a bit in the gaps in opinions, the gaps in standards, the gap in he's a he's a, a he's more likely to say no, she's more likely to say yeah. So how do I work that gap? And kids will be very strategic and deliberate. And what, hap what, what, what has to happen is, is as we get to the end, run out of time, you got to close the gap. Right. The, you have to close the gap. Right. Even if me, me, her and I are not definitely in, in, in have the same opinion, we got to come to some agreement on whatever this 
standard is or right. the circumstance situation and, is. And it actually equals up to, you know, particularly in, in households we have multiple children, protocol. Right. So because a lot of times, you know, it, it, you know, if there's no protocol, then it's kind of a free for all, you know, depending on how you feel in that day. Mm -hmm. But if the protocol is we don't the children don't go anywhere without both of us agreeing. So then we establish that we communicate that to the children right. and then they know. Now you wait till your daddy leave town if you want to. Right. It's, oh, it's but if you wait, time, no. you wait till he leave town, it's an immediate no because guess what? He's not here to, put, to give his input, and the protocol is you have to ask both parents. And here's the thing. So. That, and let, me, and let me let's be clear. It, that may not be realistic for you to have the opportunity or have to call somebody about every situation and circumstance. Because, and that's not, that's not how we ran our house per se. Right. But what one little phrase that helps me to this day, because it's different now. Now it's not can I can I go somewhere? It's it's it's, it's sometimes it's financial, or sometimes what, where I want to something I want to do or whatever. Or what can I use this of yours or whatever? Mm -hmm. I have one little phrase that truly helps me out as an adult, as a as an, a parent who's parenting adults. Let me talk to your mom about that. I don't care if I already know what she's going to say. We already got an agreement with her. Right. It's like, it's like so, uh, you know, what do you think about this? Can I do this right? Or can I use this right? Can I do something there? Or can I? Let me talk to your mama. Right. It. And so, and what that actually does is, which is kind of the flip side of this, it creates a gap in time that allows us to pause right. and think about, because he may see something that I don't see and I may see something that he doesn't exactly. see. And then it also, because I've had kids where he said that or I've said that, you know, like, let me talk to your dad. And, the, and, the, and that particular child go away and come right back and be like, never mind. I'm like, well, what? I ain't had a chance to talk. No, nah, never mind. Don't worry about it. Right. Okay. Well, either you, they know either you ain't need to go. Right. It wasn't that important. You, either you didn't need to go or it wasn't that important or you was up to some no good. Exactly. So, I've seen on several occasions. Let me talk to your mom about that. Just let me check. And, you know, even somebody, you know, um, I want to use this or can I can I hold this or can I borrow this? Or, and it's like, let me talk to your mom about that. Because I need to find out. Sometimes you already talked to your mom. You already asked your mom and she told you no. Right. So now you're coming to me trying to run game on me. No. And so now it's like, oh, never mind. Because I'll, I'll, don't ask mom. Right. I was trying to trick you because I, my, I, mom already told me that I couldn't borrow her dress. Oh, uh, so so you don't wait until oh, your I mama. I couldn't take left. the car. Right. So you don't wait until your mama left the house. And you gonna come to me saying, "Oh, can I go? In, can I go in mom's room and, and and grab her shoes or go in her closet and grab whatever?" I'm like, uh, and my mom was like, "Yeah, go ahead." No, no, no. But but protocol says, "Let me talk to your mom about that." Right. Because your slate behind already knew that your mama told you no, you could she you could not borrow my black heels. So you are gonna ask me and not. I'm going to be in trouble because I told you, yeah, when you she think? said no. <laughs> but that's because the there's safety and protocol because right. he will be in trouble. Right. And it's going to be World War Three when I get back and find out my shoes are missing. See that? See. Because she said about that World War Three. I'm just saying. That's the stuff y'all don't I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Anyway, the whole point of it is, is y'all don't let the in, the enemy being the, the devil or your children exploit the gap between you you and, you and your spouse, you and your co-parent, you and your a parent community, your village, whatever. Make sure that you all are on one page because sometimes the, the children can ex the enemy can use your children to exploit that gap to to to, to run run uh, mess and trickery. Or the children could be running game on you and you, you're not knowing it because they exploit the gap. And there's so much more we can talk about this right here, but we got we are out of time. Matter of fact, we over time. Hope this was a blessing to you. I'm Brother Ock. I'm Eunice. She's sister Eunice. Oh, mother Eunice. I'm Eunice. <laughs> and we are the Warnocks with uh, the parent liaisons, a, a parent coordinators for Epic Student Ministries, a subsidiary of Right Direction Church International. <laughs> Come on, y'all. All right. Peace.